just had somebody in a truck fly through this rest area so fast that when he passed me, my truck rocked. That is inexcusable, absolutely inexcusable to drive through a rest area, especially this small, that fast. If somebody popped out from behind or from in front of one of those trucks, it's just, it, it, it's unfathomable. Why the hell would you drive through, look, at, look how narrow this is right here. Look at how narrow. The guy must have been going 30 miles an hour. He flew into here and just went right on through. Look at how narrow it is right here. You don't do that. Any new drivers out there, heed that warning. You will get your ass kicked if somebody finds you after you've just flown through a rest area this fast or that fast. You're lucky you don't kill somebody when you do that. It's just, it's bad enough at a truck stop, but at least at a truck stop, there's a little more space. But back there, there's no space, none. There's no reason to fly through there like that. And I will reiterate that until you all are piss poor tired of hearing me say that. That just pissed me off. I'm like, oh my God. Probably some. Oh, I'm not. I'm just not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna go there. Could have been anybody. But Jesus Christ! Think about that. Think about it before you run through a rest area like that. Use your goddamn brakes and slow down before you come into the rest area. Jesus, you should not. They, there's no reason that I should feel your truck go by me when I'm sitting in a rest area. No reason. I mean, it was like, you know, it's like if you've ever been broken down on the side of the, of the interstate, on the shoulder, and when when big trucks go, well, even cars for that matter, when they go by you, the wind coming off of those vehicles will make your truck rock side to side. That's exactly what happened when this guy went through that rest area right past me. My truck swayed from side to side. He had to have been going 30 miles an hour. I don't... You know, that might not seem like a... You know, that might not seem very fast. But in such tight quarters like that, it's deadly. Absolutely deadly. If somebody had popped out there, you know, like... For, you know, for, for, for example, when you come back out to your truck and you gotta... You know, you gotta walk back to your driver's door to get into your truck. And, you know, what do you do when you... When you're getting ready to go, you know, walk in front of your truck and get to your go to your driver's door, you kind of stick your head out from around the front of the from around the nose of your truck before you walk out there so that you don't get hit, you know. Um, but when the truck is going that fast, it's an, it's 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 unavoidable. You know, you stick your head out there and it's just oh man. I realize it's not that close. A driver can stick his head out from around the nose of his truck and he's not going to get his head lopped off. I realize that if they don't hit the mirrors, they're not going to hit the guy's head. I understand that. But it's just the fact of the matter. Holy shit. That was uncalled for. You don't see me get heated like this very often on this page or on this channel. But when somebody does something so fucking stupid like that, I tend to get a little angry. 